Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about some more deep mathematical steps. So for now, I'm going down after here and making new var var nine equals to math dot remainder. Now we we are not actually going to talk about the mathematics here because remainders and mod and the uh, the products and the you know dividing are actually divisions or actually part the mathematics. We are going to talk about how we can use them in the math object here in the Go language. We are not going to talk about the mathematics and how these things works. I'm just showing you how we can apply and get the result by using the math package here in the go language so if i write here six comma nine so the remainder value would be i'm going right here fmt dot print ln and here the var nine and saving it actually what's the remainder is actually when we divide some value so the remainder is the right side value and uh, the value which we use to solve the problems it is the minus three anyway. So there are some more. I'm going down and I'm uh, writing word 10 and equal to math dot sqrt. What's the square root is the s has to be capital. And here I need to put the value. I'm writing four here. The square root after four should be two. Anyway, I'm going to go here to check it practically through fmt.println and here I'm writing var10 saving now going here and checking this out the result of it it is 2 as I knew anyway just going down and making another one okay math.sqrt I'm writing here 10 and the result would be fmt.println var 11 saving now going here and checking this up and i'm gonna get 3.16 okay anyways uh, uh because absolutely the 2 4 8 and 16 these this is the way to get the square root 16 32 64 80 uh, 64 128 256 512 or 1024 anyway these are the values eligible for the square root just showing you now we're gonna get the answer eight uh, four sorry for square root of uh, 16 is four so because two four eight and 16 so when you go from the two uh, to 16 you got the 4 anyways I'm not gonna actually teach you the square root formula as I already told you you have to contact your teacher the mathematic teacher I'm just gonna tell you how you can apply these things in the programming now I'm going down I'm gonna apply something new here so there is another method I'm gonna apply right now I'm writing uh, math dot dot mod mod so these are the formulas you need to know I'm just writing the values here um, I just wanted to show you how these formulas works I'm not gonna tell you each and every function of the mathematics there are a lot more just showing you the meaning important ones so you might know them okay you can see that the 7 is the answer in this case so these are the math packages and we just talked about different uh, variations of the math function. So in the next video, we're going to talk about something different. Till then, stay tuned.